Welcome back to 530 Now. Changes are coming to Vermont's most iconic ice cream. All 50 Ben & Jerry's flavors are getting new ingredients after the company pledges not to use any GMOs in its products. WPTZ's Hannah McDonald has the story. Food Fight Fudge Brownie. It's a chocolate ice cream with a bunch of brownies in it. Ben and Jerry's newly renamed flavor and a spin off of Food Fight Fund VT. Ben and Jerry's is transitioning to 100% non GMO. Jerry Greenfield, the Jerry of Ben and Jerry's, known for their iconic ice cream and a long history of supporting consumers' right to know, stood by Vermont Governor Peter Shumlin today at a Food Fight rally. You want to know what's in your food, and we're going to let you know what's in your food. Today at Ben and Jerry's Scoop Shop on Church Street, the two parties asked Vermont and anyone who wants to help to visit foodfightfundvt.org to help establish Vermont's labeling law. It's law! And fight the food industry's lawsuit against the state. It, lo it looks like the only freedom we have left is waving the flag. We now need your help to beat the food manufacturers who don't want you to know what's in your food. The Ben & Jerry's co-founder said they're proud of the GMO Right to Know group and the Vermont legislators involved in the food fight. Greenfield says he feels great about the company's changes. Unilever and Ben & Jerry's are not exactly on the same page on this particular issue, but Ben & Jerry's has the right to speak out on issues of police. In it. To their credit, the co-founder says Unilever supports Ben & Jerry's right to act along with a few others. Um, supports Ben and & Jerry's in changing flavors and then hopefully becoming GMO free altogether. In Ben & Jerry's efforts to move away from GMOs, some of their packaging and flavoring will change, but it's all part of their end of 2014 goal for healthier ingredients. In Burlington, I'm Hannah McDonald, WPTZ News, Channel 5.